Um, oh, look, I think there's a fair few things. Um, you know, 150, uh, you know, thought places quite well. Obviously, the game sped up that night of day one. They bowled terrifically well and, um, you know, put a dent into us. And, um, you know, once the, once the pitch started to slow down a little bit, um, obviously, we weren't as well placed and we're back out in the field and um, couldn't get the breakthroughs. But I thought they played really well. Um, yeah, just not much really went our way this game. Yeah, I thought he bowled really well. Um, you know, obviously he's one of the best in the world. Um, he's always going to be a challenge, so we've got to come up with some, um, you know, ways to combat that. You know, I thought particularly that day one, um, you know, his spell, um, you know, spell the Indian guys made it really tricky for uh, for obviously our, you know, our team to, to navigate through. So, yeah, he bowled well, um, yeah, throughout the game like he does most games. Uh, oh, look, I, th I think after every test, you always kind of look at what you think your best matchup is. You know, this is, you know, sample size of one, you know, four or five days ago, we thought this was our best 11. So I dare say nothing, you know, there won't be many changes going into Adelaide, but I'm not, not a selector. I'm sure they'll get together after the game. Um, but yeah, not to be. Uh, so yeah, got a bit of work to do over the next 10 days. So. Uh, look, I don't think so. Um, you know, we might tra change our prep a little bit, might get into Adelaide, you know, a day earlier with this game finishing, um, you know, give us an extra day um, of preparation leading to that second test. But, um, yeah, you know, we'll go home for a couple of days and then regroup in Adelaide. Yes, um, not an ideal way to start the summer. Um, yeah, I think you always, you know, zoom out. You've got five test matches. And of course, you've got Sri Lanka as well afterwards. But, um, you know, it's a big series. But we, we thought our prep was really good leading to this test match. Um, everyone's was a little bit different. Um, you know, I think I was the only one in the team that didn't play any, any red ball cricket, but had some ODI cricket and, um, you know, quite similar leading to previous years. And, um, yeah, I don't think, you know, prep was the issue we outplayed this week but um you know i thought the prep was was pretty similar to previous years and where we kind of wanted it oh look i don't think so you know you know, realistically, with that break, you get the chance to play some shield cricket. So, you know, a lot of the guys played some shield cricket um, and, you know, some uh, Aussie A games for a couple of guys as well. So, you know, it's a very individualised approach to prep leading in. Um, but, you know, we're, we've we all played, well, you know, a lot of us played a lot of test cricket and, um, you know, you always yeah, feel like you're pretty ready. Obviously, we've been bowling with Red Bull for quite a while, a lot of centre wickets and those kind of things. So it's not like, yeah, you turn up and... Um, yeah, feel like it's completely foreign. Yeah, um, nothing too much to it really. Um, yeah, me and Gaz is kind of over the last couple of years, not necessarily taking turns, but some days I do it, some days he does it. Um, he bowled quite a bit, so I just thought, yeah, I'll take it last night. Didn't work. <laughs> Where do you see the man and what's his 
yeah, you know, you know, Man, um, you know, along with you know, quite a few guys in the team didn't have the week that we would have wanted. Um, you know, it's it's no secret how hard you know the batters, particularly Man, works in the nets, and um, he's always trying to find those you know small marginal gains. So, um, you know, this week be a lot of conversation with the coaches around you know maybe his approach and what he could be doing differently. Um, you know, we we know he's a class player. Him at his best is one of the scariest propositions for opposition bowlers to bowl at. So, um, yeah, this week will be about those conversations. Um, as I say, get to um, Adelaide a little bit earlier and maybe do an extra day or two prep leading to that second test. But, um, you know, he's done it before over here. He's got a very good pink ball record. So I always think it's a, it's a, you know, looking back at past successes when you're at your best is always a pretty good way to get yourself back on track. Um, yeah, good question. I think it's always a bit of a mixture of both. Um, you know, it's, yeah, it's, uh, you know, I think, yeah, we tried plenty of different plans, um, you know, in the bowling side of things, some of them look pretty good, but didn't necessarily come off straight away. Um, you know, others not so much. Um, but I thought there was some good information gathered there that we can take into, to the rest of the series. Um, and for the batters, I, I think it's really individual. I think it's, um, you know, I, I dare say the Adelaide wicket's going to be a little bit different to here. So it's about, you know, resetting. When are you at your best? What's your game plan? How are you going to look to be positive, score runs? Those are the conversations that, you know, I'm sure most people have. Yeah, look, we weren't at our best there either this week. Um, you know, a, a couple of, um, you know, tight catches that, you know, in other games we, we probably grab. Um, just a few kind of overthrows and misfields. So, yeah, of course, um, again, you know, we get to Adelaide and do a bit of that. But, again, I, I thought the pre prep leading was, was really good. Everyone catches a million balls. Um, so, yeah, it's about transferring that into the game. Um, you know, hard to say. Um, you know, he's battling a couple of little niggles since the since the UK tour. Um, so you know, you know, the main thing is he's in there as a, you know, we think one of the top six batters in the country. Um, and bowling's a bonus. Uh, you know, he's a little bit sore towards the end of this kind of test match. So again, you know, the next ten days, chance to freshen up, try and get it right. Um, so yeah, we'll see how he goes. Yeah, but ideally, yeah, he'd be able to bowl in each test match. Yeah, he played really well. Um, you know, I thought he, um, yeah, you know, we tried quite a few different plans. Um, you know, I thought we, we bowled reasonably well to him. You know, he's obviously quite an attacking player. And, um, but, yeah, managed to get through some of those spells and um, and cash in. But, yeah, I, th I thought he looked really good out there. Uh, you know, obviously he was in the, the Indian squad, so I thought, you know, as soon as he was in the squad that he was a chance to play. Um, yeah, and, I uh, don't know what Josh has said, um, but no, not at all. You know, there's there's plenty of times where the batters have dragged us bowlers out of tight situations and, um, you know, we've done the same. So it's, um, you know, it's a really tight unit. Um, you know, it's probably one of the tightest teams I've ever played with. We really enjoy playing, you know, cricket together. Um, we've been through a lot, um, you know, over the last few years, the core group. So, um, no, no problems there. You know, everyone gets along really well. Um, so all good. Um, trying to think. Yeah, I, yeah, he batted well. I can't remember too much to be honest. Um, but yeah, he, you know, he batted well, opening the batting. Yeah. 
Uh, on the wicket, I've got no idea. Um, so yeah, maybe ten days or so, we'll go and have a look at it. It's normally pretty consistent there, pretty good wicket. Um, so yeah, we'll wait and see. Uh, oh look, I think it's, you know, I think we're all, you kind of you sit in the change room after a loss like that, and it hurts. You know, when a team declares on you, it's never, um, it's never an amazing feeling. So um, we've all been in these situations before. It's the nature of being professional sport. You're going to lose some games, so. You know, the biggest challenge and the biggest, um, you know, the most important thing is how do you bounce back? You know, what's what's your next move? So that's what we've got to do this week. Um, you know, clearly well off the mark. There's a lot to work on. So, you know, the most important thing is there's four test matches next or to come. You know, what's the next move? How do we make sure that we don't be in, a, in this position again? Uh, yeah, that's that's the main one. So we'll have um, you know a daytime session, but we'll also have a nighttime training session. So no doubt the batters will want at least you know one hit in, in daylight and nighttime. And same with fielding, we'll catch some balls on the lights one of those days, and, and probably do a fielding session during the day. So that's the main thing. It's just you know a little bit different to pick up um, with the eye, and then as a bowler, it feels a little bit different. But you know one or two sessions we played a lot with pink balls, so it's it's not as as big a adjustment for us. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.